What's up YouTube? This is Big Ed 2008 and in today's video we have my four Qfig characters. I've been receiving these very nice figures from both Loot Crate and My Geek Box. They're very nicely detailed and I have done reviews of them in the past. Please enjoy this video and if you want more content like this please like, rate and subscribe. Thanks very much. He is the knight. He is vengeance. He is justice. He is the Batman. This was the first Q figurine I received from QFig. I received it with my monthly subscription box called Loot Crate. When I first opened him, I was struck by how young he was. It is essentially a kid version of the 1966 Batman, played by Adam West. It appears that all of the DC characters in particular are childlike versions of their main selves. This figure stands with the base at a respectable 5 inches high and is 4.5 inches wide again with the base. His colour scheme is a really good representation of the 1966 Batman with the blues and greys complementing each other. The yellow utility belt and yellow bat symbol on his chest also complement quite nicely to the theme. He's the merc with the mouth, the unkillable, chimichunga-loving, foul-mouthed, madder-than-the-hatter, Deadpool. Not Mr. Deadpool. Just Deadpool. I love this character. He's awesome on so many levels. Let's focus on the Q figure for the minute. Standing at 5 inches with the explosion effect, which is awesome by the way, and 2.5 inches wide, he is a finely detailed figure and certainly a fantastic homage to Deadpool. The atypical reds and blacks, which is Deadpool's primary colours, are done exceptionally well in this figure. Let me turn him around for quickly. As you can see, he's got a rather large orangey explosion coming out from behind him, which is propelling him. He has the yellow swords, which are again excellently sized and shaped with a little pillar of smoke behind it. There's a theme running with the Q-Fig collection and that's that they've all kidified all the main characters from DC, Marvel, Harry Potter, although most of the characters were kids anyway on the Harry Potter front. And to be honest I kind of like it. It makes them all highly collectible for one thing and it's a nice twist on the already existing mainstay characters. It makes them, to me at the very least, more charming. And I think that's a really good thing. It's a nice new aspect to these figures. He's big. He's green. He's angrier than anti-Trump supporters. He's the Incredible Hulk. I received this Q figure a month or so back, and he's a really good figure. He stands a good... 2.5 inches high with a waistline or width line of 4 inches. He has an excellent shade of green which fits perfectly with his powerful trousers or pants if you're in America. He is one, at the time of recording at least, he's one of 23 figures from QFig that cover everything from Harry Potter to Big Bang Theory. There are other Marvel characters such as Captain America and Deadpool which, with luck, I will be reviewing at some point soon. Well, this character doesn't need any introduction, but I'm going to give her one anyway. She is the one, the only, Harley Quinn. Also known by her psychiatrist's name, or normal name, Harleen Quinzel. She's the Joker's better half, if you call completely bonkers better half. She's a hammer-swinging crazy barrel of monkeys, well, she's just great with it. As a character, she's one of my favourites, and I think that they've done a fantastic job here with this representation of her. The colours, her reds, the blacks, the hyena with the Harley Quinn style suit, even the high pudding miss me sign, which is just, I'd, I'd love to swear lots, but it's just awesome. 
The hammer is again a fantastic detail. It is loose in the hand, which means it could probably come out, but I'm not going to remove it. She stands at a respectable 5.5 inches high, with the signpost, of course, and a 2.5 inches wide, with the hyena, of course. She is one of my favourite characters in general, and she is getting her own spin off movie starring Margot Robbie. Watch this space for details on that. Thanks everyone for watching this video on my 4Q figures. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and if the fancy takes you, subscribe. Thanks again everyone, and I'll see you on the next video. See you later.